Yes, steam. You know, it wasn't so long ago that we learned how to harness the power of steam. Barely two centuries. But, Maestro, I remember you telling us that long ago in Alexandria, a man named Hero had already invented a steam machine. Wasn't that what you said? Get ready for a big lesson on the Greeks. Alexandria wasn't in Greece, it's in Egypt. Yeah, that's right, but Hero's invention had no real application, no practical use. You remember, children. I invented a steam machine. Your machine is of no use. No, it's true. It served no useful purpose. Uh -huh. And we have to wait another 2,000 years before a Frenchman, Denis Papin, takes an interest once again in a steam machine. Steam can generate a lot of power. Whoa! Ow! Yeah, ow! ow. <laughs> yes, there is great power in steam. Wow! I don't know if it has power, but I do know it's hot. Have to be careful, Monsieur Papin. Machine, and I think it really works. It's much too slow, your fancy machine, Monsieur Papa. Ooh la 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 la. There. I'll make a bigger one. Hmm. Hmm. Whoa. Whoa. Ha -ha -ha. Careful, it's going to explode. I know what? A safety valve! That's what it needs! Are you starting to cook now, Monsieur Papin? I just invented something else. In no time at all, these vegetables are going to cook. Hmm. What have you concocted now? They're already done. I call it a pressure cooker. But you can't cook them in such a short time. Oh, you're right. Bravo, Monsieur Papin. For once, you have invented something useful. Mm. Huh? And so it was, children, that that was all that Denis Papin left us, the pressure cooker, but things would change. In fact, it would be a veritable explosion in steam. You'll see. Yes, a real explosion. <laughs> An explosion, technologically speaking, naturally. The first steam machine used industrially was invented by Newcomb in England. Master, go on. We need more steam. Go on. This machine is uneconomical, I assure you. It wastes coal. Yes, go on, Professor Watt. Back in Scotland, we abhor waste. See how much steam's escaping into the air. We can do nothing. Oh, yes, we can. Look. I can't see anything. It's too small. There's also no need to waste paper. Can't understand a thing. You'll see.
Maestro, will you explain? Explain how the wheel is turned just using steam? Because steam, all it does is... That's all. Yeah, it's all right. I'll try to explain it. Yeah, now, no, slow down. At this speed, we can't understand anything. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Now, then, yeah. the steam comes into this sort of drawer that distributes it alternately to each side of the piston, pushing one way and then the other, and it moves. Now. Does everybody understand? Yeah, yeah, we, we do. Yeah, we understand. Yeah, we understand. That steam engine was to revolutionize the world. Chunk, 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 chunk. But that was only the start. Oh, yes, soon others designed and built steam engines. A Frenchman, Francois Cugnot, for instance. You are convinced, Monsieur Cugnot, that your machine is able to transport this large cannon, that right? You will see. I would prefer you take it in through the door, sir, and not through the wall. I'm trying, I'm trying. No! Meanwhile, the Englishman, Murdoch... It is not allowed to put the mechanical devices on the road or on the day, Murdoch. Then I'll test it at night, Mr. Watt. All right, but it's at your own risk. My goodness. Yes. That's it. I did it. I did it. Oh, oh good Lord. <laughs> the devil, the devil, the devil's after me. Mr. Trevithick, quite amusing. You're making toys. Is it for that that you're paid? It's not a toy. It's a scale model of the very first locomotive on rails. You're joking. There's no machine that'll ever replace a good horse. Hmm. Eh? Whoa! 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 Hey! Whoa! Just a few years later, in 1797... I have an idea. Dad, we could just as well hook an engine to the car and it would move on its own. It's been tried already, George. The machine is too heavy. It won't pull all the carts. And the rails break. Now what are you doing? It's nothing, Pop. It's just the piston. It's stuck. A drop of oil should do it. Well, George? Hold on. It'll work. Good work, son. You're good at mechanics. Pop, I want to construct a real locomotive. For that, I'll be needing a workshop. I think I might arrange that. The first public train service running on rails would begin in 1803 in England and be pulled by horses. <laughs> hey, that wasn't a real train. A real train has to have a locomotive. Yeah, you're right. Very soon, real locomotives would appear. Yeah, you'll see. Oh. You think it'll run, Dad? For a while, but it's too heavy to run for long. Now, are you familiar with steam engines? Yes, sir. I'm a trained mechanic. Well, my machine is going to run so fast, nobody will beat it in a race, so I named it Catch Me If You Can. It weighs about seven tons, heavy for the rails. I assure you, I know my job. 
take a ride on the locomotive. It's the transport of the future. One shilling a ride, one shilling, a little shilling. Let's oh. go, Dad. Can I have a ride? I'll have a good time. Yes, all right, but sit on the outer side. I'm still afraid that the rails will give way. Then you can jump. You were right, Dad. You were always right. It was too heavy, huh? What's needed is a much lighter machine, understand? And so you want to build another locomotive, George? Yes, sir, but one that's much lighter and so faster. Just a word, my lord. These locomotives are quite costly toys and clearly will never be any use. Horses, now that's a good investment. <laughs> it's true, they cost a great deal. Yes, my lord. How much? Many hundreds of pounds, perhaps a thousand. Out of the question, out of the question! And if you do manufacture one, you sure it'll run. Yes, sir, I guarantee it'll run. Don't listen to him, my lord. Huh? He's simply a mechanic. The man is not huh? properly trained. Mm. Uh -huh. Well, I have complete trust okay, in uh... you, George. Here's what you need for a workshop. It's madness. I don't agree. All that gold will be wasted. Yes, wood is light, and it's going to strengthen the boiler, son. Ah, look, look over there. You see the two cylinders? Well, the rods will transmit the movement of the pistons directly to the wheels. But you, Robert, you have to go to school to be an engineer. That way, you and I can work together. Gentlemen. Oh, ah. oh. There have been many attempts at building locomotives, but they never work. The accounts are in a terrible state. Salaries are too high, steel supplies too high, repairs to the forge too high. That's not all damages caused by explosion. Oh. Medical expenses, bills, bills, bills. As a result, <laughs> we are on the rocks. Well, here she is. I call her the locomotion. And with this engine, we're going to start the very first steam railway line. He's crazy. I second that. Well, then let's build it. Uh, are you sure, George, that your locomotive will be ready in time? Yes, quite sure. My son is in charge of the workshop. I have complete faith in him. The train will run. Yeah, yeah, it runs. It runs up bills, your lordship. <laughs> we won't be needing them at all. I certainly hope not. This is going to be a great day in railroad history. It's oh, wonderful. Oh, I want to be in front of you. Me too. Move over ahead of you. Whoa! Carriages, you realize? It's impossible. The train won't run long. Uh -huh. <laughs> All aboard! <laughs> oh. It's nothing, just a valve to replace. <laughs> We're ready. Go on, full steam! He isn't going to make it. <laughs> I say he will. Uh, yes, I said he won't make I it. I say he will. He won't make it! Hooray! Hooray! He did it! Hooray! Step up the pressure and full steam ahead. Look who's here. <laughs> get him, get him. Right. Faster, faster, come on. Bravo, 
locomotion, we made it all the way. We won! Gentlemen, we have decided to link our city with the port of Liverpool by railway. The question now is, who is going to construct this great project? But it's already decided. I have drawn the route the railway will take, and my locomotive is ready. All we need is the money needed to construct it. In just one minute, steam engines aren't yet proven. The train is safer when it's drawn by horses. As it happens, I am in, <laughs> able to supply good quality horses. Mr. James, we've examined your project. We're not absolutely sure that the route you've chosen is necessarily the best, nor that your locomotive is able to pull the train. <laughs> what do you mean? My locomotive is the best in the world, and I assure you the route I've chosen is the shortest one. To date, I believe the only steam-driven railway that's functioning is the one created by George Stevenson. We have asked him to come. Well, Mr. Stevenson, and have you considered our project? I have, and this is the route that I propose. But the route he's made is much longer. It would be a waste of time. It avoids steep grades and any sharp curves along the route. They might derail the train. Yes, of course. Now, now what about the locomotive? What is your choice? In my opinion, it should be a new design, a boiler with pipes. Well, that's ridiculous. The boiler design is cylindrical and it's a vertical. No question, a horizontal boiler. My locomotive's the best in the world. And mine is simply better. Gentlemen, gentlemen, do stay calm. Each inventor thinks his is the best, yes, of course. And so, and there's only one way to settle this. And that is a race. That's an excellent idea. A locomotive race? And with a prize of 500 pounds sterling? A race? We can all place bets. When will it be? In October at Rainhill, near Liverpool. And the minimum average speed has to be at least 16 kilometres an hour. Allow me to thank your honor for accepting an invitation. The race is going to begin. Here are the judges. Their decision is final. It can't be questioned. Bring forward the first candidate. Oh. It's an Adwin. I wonder how he powers it. Giddy up! He'll never go that fast doesn't enough. That qualifies a locomotive. Ah, eight kilometers an hour. Mr. Brandreth, we believe that your engine is not powered by steam. What? Not steam? You come and see. Hmm. Don't tell me it's not steam. It ain't powered by steam. Hmm. Hmm. In a way, it is steam, yes, but in any event, your average speed, sir, was only eight kilometers an hour, and the minimum for the race requires 16. Therefore, you are out. Why didn't you tell me I'd have brought two horses? Next contestant. Is it on stilts? It looks quite like a grasshopper. I don't think it will run for long, though. Eliminated. Who's next? Right on the try. It was okay. Take it. <laughs> Eliminated. Next contestant. Oh, ouch! 
slow down. Out of control! that we can catch up? I would say that. Take a look. <laughs> 22 kilometers an hour. Our record for the day, gentlemen. All right, no problem. No problem. <laughs> Hello there, my friends. Ready for the start? Ready. You know, you wouldn't happen to have a small place for me. You can get it. Yeah, thank you. Go! Two kilometers an hour average speed. Incredible, gentlemen, incredible. Breaking all records. And that was the start of the glorious steam train saga. And before long, the next year, in fact, the Manchester Liverpool line would go into service. In just a few decades, the steam railway would undergo a remarkable development, spreading through all of Europe and America, where it would open up the Wild West. Where was I again? Now, that's right. Stevenson, with his rocket, had gone over 30 kilometers an hour. And today... What was that? What was that? Well, the TGV, you realize 300 an hour. That's right. And pretty soon, it could be 500. Thank <music> you.